what is up guys welcome back to another video in this one we're going to be going over how to get rid of the vb guest additions icon let's get right into it So first things first, let's go over what is happening with this icon and we're going to kind of walk through how I figured out how to get rid of it. So this icon is from the virtual box guest additions and it is a huge red flag to anybody trying to see if you're using a virtual machine for whatever reason. So in order to get rid of it, there's going to be one of two things or not one of two things. There are going to be two different things that we need to do. First, we're going to go into our file explorer. We're going to want to make sure that we no longer see this virtual box guest edition in our cd drive super easy to get rid of it just like anything else click on it right click and press eject and then there it goes but as we can see this is still here clicking on it doesn't do anything right clicking on it definitely doesn't do anything so let's go ahead and open up our task manager so you can do windows r and then click ok on the task manager we can go to processes and then here we see vboxtray.exe now if we wanted to go away we could just right click and press and process now that will make the icon go away but we don't want to have to open up task manager every single time to get rid of it so we're going to write ourselves a little script to make sure it gets killed instantly whenever windows 7 gets loaded so in order to do that i'm going to click on the desktop press new and then go to text document so here what we're going to want to do is uh, you can just leave that as a new text document go ahead and open it up and we're going to want to type in our special code so turn on your caps lock and press type in task kill slash f slash i m and then you're going to want to turn off your uh, your caps lock and type vb box vb box tray dot exe and make sure you type it exactly how i have it here i am going to put it in the description so you guys can just copy and paste it and then from the text document you want to type you want to click the file button press save as where it says text documents dot txt you want to change that to all files and then we're going to name this v box icon kill then we're going to save the file Oh, I'm, I'm, I made a mistake here. We're going to uh, turn it back into all files. View VB icon kill. And then we're going to type dot BAT and press save. All right, there we go. So whenever you save it, you want to make sure it comes up with the little gears. That's how you know you did it right. And then we can get rid of these. So what we can do is we have our virtual box um, right here. If we double click on this file, a window pops up real fast, goes away and now it should disappear. So whenever I clicked on it, it went away. It does take it a second to do its job, but this file is effectively killing that icon. So, but we don't wanna click on this every time we opened up Windows either. So we're gonna to wanna to get this into our startup folder. So you wanna click on the Windows button and the R key at the same time. And then we're gonna to want to go to percent app data percent. If you ever played Minecraft, you know a lot about this folder and then press okay. We're going to want to go into Microsoft, Windows, uh, Start Menu, Programs, and then the Startup folder. And then go ahead and drag VP Icon Kill into this folder. And that's really all you have to do. So just as a proof of concept, we're going to restart the machine to see if it's doing its job. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it for now. And I'll come back whenever it's time to put in my password. Okay, so it's time to put in my password. Let's see here, type that in and press go. And you may notice that the, uh, the little arrow to look at the icon is still there. But like I said, it does take a second for it to work. So it loads up, we see our little box, it goes away. We do still see our arrow, but if we click on it, it should go away almost instantly. Oof, there it goes so every single time you start it up it's automatically going to kill that icon for us 
and it, you're not going to have that big red flag that you're using a virtual machine anymore. So we're one step closer to making sure that our virtual machine is completely undetectable and we did it in less than five minutes. In the next video, we're going to talk about disabling syskey to make sure that uh, you or anybody else will not be able to lock you out of this virtual machine. So uh, if you're interested in that, go on to the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.